Good evening, Wamboos. Uh, as a professional de dealer in minerals and crystals, one of the most common questions I'm asked is, are the crystals and minerals that I supply, are they ethically sourced? All this kind of stuff. And my answer is always absolutely yes, they are absolutely ethically sourced. Now, I'm not sure what ethically mined means to you, but I'll tell you what it means to me. Firstly, there must be no forced labor or child labor involved. Secondly, there must be no violence involved. For instance, uh, the blood diamonds in Central Africa are being used to fund wars. I don't want to have anything to do with that. And thirdly, there has to be some sort of environmental accountability as well. For instance, are the miners rehabilitating the land after they're finished mining? Now, if you're an existing customer of mine and you know me from my Facebook profile, uh, you'll know that I source in a couple of different ways. Firstly, there's the stuff that I mine myself or that an employee of mine mines for me. I do have a guy who works for me down in the Orange River area of South Africa. And he also buys for me. Uh, he buys from all the little artisanal miners uh, in the area, in far-flung little places. And there can't be nothing more ethical than that. I mean, we've recently got a lot of praise and thanks from a lot of the community leaders because we bring a lot of money into these uh, very little, very impoverished little towns. I also do a lot of traveling myself into places like uh, Namibia and the Orange River area and Bukunotuk and I'm planning trips coming up to go into Malawi and Zambia when they eventually lift the COVID restrictions. Uh, so I also I go up there and I buy from small guys, artisanal miners, uh, guys with a hammer and chisel and a pick and a shovel working up a mountain to try and scratch out a living. So again, there's very ethical because these people are just trying to earn a living and I'm more than happy to go uh, meet them and pay a very fair price uh, so they can make a living and I can bring the rocks back and then obviously sell them on to you. And then thirdly, I've got people who will bring stuff to me. I've got contacts from Congo, from Zambia, from Malawi. Uh, they will uh, they're constantly up and down and they will go to the, uh, the mines, the, uh, sometimes commercial mines and sometimes artisanal miners and they'll bring the rocks to me. Now it's these big mines that are a little bit problematic. I still maintain that everything I supply is absolutely ethically sourced. As a matter of fact, I think all the minerals and crystals that we as collectors or metaphysical, metaphysical users uh, uh, collect, all specimens are ethically sourced. It's the commercial mines that I'm worrying about. For instance, I supply a lot of malachite and uh, the malachite specimens are a secondary product of the copper mines. Now for a miner to stop mining copper and bring out a specimen, I have no problem with uh, paying that miner for stopping the mining process and bringing out specimen quality stuff, selling it on the side to supplement his income because mining is a low paid uh, profession and I have no problem in um, I have no problem in supporting a miner and helping make a little bit of a secondary income. If you watched my videos about my trip down the Orange River recently, uh, you might remember me going past the Humsburg mine, which is a, uh, it's a zinc mine. And I was complaining I'd never gotten anything out of the area or out of that mine. But as luck would have it, I, recently, I was recently contacted by a couple of the miners. They found a, a pocket of quartz and I got some really nice quartz crystals out of that mine. Uh, so even though it's a, a zinc mine, I have no problem in buying quartz crystals from the miners they bring out in their lunch boxes or yeah, the secondary minerals that we all love. But before we carry on, here's a quick word from our sponsors. Yeah, it's me. I am sponsoring my own channel. Uh, who else would sponsor this goofy little channel? Uh, so at this point, if you'd rock the thumbs up button, that would be really cool. I'm still a YouTube noob, so if I can figure it out, I'll put a link here to my Wholesale Crystals website, and I'll put a link here to my Wholesale Minerals website. And if I can't figure out how to do it, links will be in the description. Use Welcome99, I'll put that here as a, as a discount code, and that'll get you 10% off my sourced Wholesale Crystals. As I said earlier, I do believe all uh, specimen quality minerals and crystals are ethically sourced. The problem is the high value industrial stuff and the big corporate mines. I know there is a big problem in the Congo with children being used to mine uh, lithium uh, for your cell phone batteries and cobalt and that type of thing. And many of the big copper mines uh, where the, the malachite specimens come from are now owned by the Chinese. And we, we know they don't have the best record when it comes to human rights 
And I don't know, are they rehabilitating uh, the land after they've mined it? I don't know. Unfortunately, I cannot go to the Congo myself. It's far too dangerous for a Westerner to go there alone. Uh, so I have to trust the guys who are buying for me. They are Congolese. And uh, and even if they are buying from uh, mines that don't have the best practices, I'm not too worried because they're paying the miners themselves to bring out the specimens. So that money isn't going to the mine owners. You're supporting the miners, helping them, helping them make a small secondary income by buying the specimens. So in summary, all specimen grade uh, minerals, crystals are okay. Okay, that's all I've got today. So uh, if you want to see the upcoming footage of our trip to Irongo and Bramberg and all those other places in Namibia, probably a good idea to subscribe, hit that like button. So I'm going to say cheers. I'm going to have a cold one. Bye.